Welcome to Planet Gold, Guyana. The overall objective is to assist Guyana uh, to convert to mercury-free mining by 2025. So our approach is to engage businesses. Of course, they have a profit motive. So it's to engage them to lead the way so that we can have a mercury-free ASGM value chain and then eventually to have Eldorado Gold branded jewelry. That way we have um, a brand for gold that is produced through mercury-free processes. To support that, we have to develop a financing mechanism because of the fact that these technologies are significantly more expensive than the mercury that miners have been um, accustomed to using. To be able to um, really mainstream this, this approach, it's clear that we would have to have certain policies and, and, and that would be the, the government being willing to have new regulations and also provide the incentives, be it to the banks or to miners, so as to um, make this uh, more attractive and, and more doable for these uh, stakeholders. A few of our, uh, our achievements that we're really very proud of fall under our safeguards activities. So we conducted a gender and social analysis in the, the three regions where we anticipate to have project work carried out. It was very important for us to be able to capture this, to see the role of women in the sector, to see the fact that they, they have challenges that are unique and therefore the project must find a way to address the challenges in the sector through a gender lens. Uh, another uh, achievement that we're very proud of is the development of the grievance mechanism that ensures that any challenge that stakeholders within the communities where we work or close to where we work, if they're affected negatively in any way, that we have a mechanism that they can make reports in a very confidential way. And we also have developed guidelines that follow the ethnic principles so that when we interact with our indigenous peoples, we can assure them that we are adhering to what they expect. The pandemic COVID-19 has made a, a significant impact on the project and the work that we had scheduled to do over the last year. However, um, in spite of that, we were able to engage miners remotely through our messages, through direct contacts, not, not in person, but yet we were able to continue with our education and awareness um, activities. And we now have four miners lining up for us to say, we, um, you know, we're ready to go into your space. And so that is like one of the biggest things that we were able to achieve over this relatively downtime that we have, we've been through. We have used the time um, over the past months to literally put every single thing in place so that we can just hit the ground running. Um, we have the teams in place for assessment. We have um, all the suppliers lined up in terms of the equipment we plan to buy. We have all the agreements drafted. So we're, we're pre pretty confident that once we can start second quarter moving things that by the end of this year we should have a demonstration site up and running we should have um you know our first set of mercury free gold being produced so i i'm i'm, I'm hopeful that 
that by next year you will see uh, a financing mechanism working and miners accessing that mechanism as a result of of, uh, of seeing the demonstration sites and being in sufficiently impressed that they would be willing to take the chance and make the shift. Planet Gold is like um, it's like a, it's like a community of, of, of sharing and learning because they, we're talking about eight nine countries. When we meet, when we have discussions, we can learn from one another. Every country doesn't have to do everything from scratch. There's an opportunity for even utilizing some things that um, one country may have developed. And then when you add to it, the, the range of resources that are available, through example, the um, advisory group. Yes, there are persons out there, entities out there that would be willing to assist, but we have, there is no way that we would be able to reach them. There, there is no way we could do uh, many of the things that we're, that we're trying to do um, on our own. And so I think the, the, the project um, is, is really uh, uh, invaluable. That's, that's the only term I could use to, to explain it.